art students and art enthusiasts, we're going to look today at some different magazine sculpture techniques. How you can basically build things using sheets of magazines rolled into tubes. So first to roll a tube, what you need to do is get some adhesives like glue sticks, liquid glue, or even tape and get some magazines. You will also need something to roll the tubes around, like a pencil. After tearing out some sheets of magazines, place the most colorful side of the magazine down. And then you're going to roll around your object, starting at a corner. So you can see here that I'm starting with the eraser end of the pencil at the corner. And as I roll, when I get close to the graphite tip of the pencil, I slide the pencil out and then I carefully keep rolling. I'll just use my adhesive at this final corner. Watch this one more time. If you look at the rectangular sheet of paper, the longest distance would be from diagonally, corner to corner. So that's how long each tube should be as you roll. When you remove the pencil, sometimes you have to wiggle a little bit and even loosen up your grip. But then you should be able to get the pencil out and apply glue or tape at the end. You can see here I applied glue to the entire corner area of that sheet of newspaper. You will get much better and faster at rolling tubes. The first one you do might be a little bit tricky, but again, it's gonna get easier and easier. I like using the glue the best because it's a cleaner look to your finished tubes, but if you need to, you can apply tape at the end as well. My art students are going to have to create at least 25 tubes before beginning to create any kind of sculptural project. Just remember to always remove your pencil or whatever object you roll your tube around. You might be cutting these tubes later, so just don't ever think that you can keep that pencil in there. If you have trouble, watch how I kind of pinch and loosen up the tube slightly and the pencil drops out. At the end of classes, when you're finished working, you're gonna wanna have your name somewhere on your tubes. So while you could use something like string for this, I like this pre-glued tape. You just moisten the end of one side and it sticks. Then you can write your name with any material on the tape and you can put your block number there. You can put all of your things into your tray and you know what's yours next class. Now, moving forward, I want to show you what you can do to build with these magazine tubes. And of course, what I'm showing you is not everything. These are just some ideas. So first, you can flatten the tube and then you can roll it up. You can roll it up around something, like around a pencil, or you can roll it up just like a spiral, like within itself, with no hole in the center. So what I'm doing here is rolling it around the pencil, and then when I get close to the end, I'll apply some of the glue, and then I'll stick it down. Okay, you could make a whole bunch of these to build with. When flattening the tubes, I think it's best to use something like the edge of your scissors to help really crease and fold the magazines. And then you can see right now, I'm just rolling this up just like a basic spiral without anything in the center. You can place glue along the entire length of the flattened tube, or you could just use it at the end. And I, I'll show you the difference between what you can do if you've glued the whole thing and if you haven't glued the whole thing in just a minute. So next, I also wanna point out that you can link the tubes together to create longer tubes, and then even if you flatten them and spiral them up, you can have them kind of connect as if they were just one, like building on each other. So I'm gonna speed this up real quick for you, but I want you to know that I'm using three flattened tubes right here and linking them together to make one larger spiral. And then I want you to see how you can take that spiral and if you want to build kind of three-dimensionally with it, you can actually press a finger into the center and you can kind of cone it out. So this works best if you did not glue together all the length of the flattened tube and and only put glue on the end you can you can push again you can push it out kind of like a cone and get another three-dimensional element to a piece of course rolling up your magazine tubes into spirals isn't all you can do you can also weave with the tubes here I've flattened some tubes out and then I've just done a simple basket weave over, under, over, under to create this little look you have here. You really could experiment with all different kinds of folding and weaving using the magazine tubes. 
Here's another way to weave. This is something that I used to do as a child with bubblegum wrappers and starburst wrappers, by the way. But you can take a tube, cut it in half, fold the piece then in half, and then bring in the ends to the center so that you create basically like a little link. Then once you have two of these, two of these links, you're going to put them together by feeding it into the loops, like one into the other. You just have to watch how I do this because it's hard to explain with words. But you can see how basically you're like creating sort of a chain and then you continue to build onto this chain and it's going to make a zigzag kind of a woven pattern. So if you choose to do this, you may want to look up some instructions or see the picture that I'll put up on the board that kind of shows the pattern. But once you've created some chain or some links using this woven technique, you then could actually glue them together and look, you get kind of like a chevron style pattern. So that's also a really cool thing you could try out by weaving using the magazine tubes. Another thing you can do is you can cut the tubes apart. Of course, you may need to apply more glue when you're doing this so it doesn't completely unravel, but um, after creating smaller pieces of tubes, you could string them together. This is great if you want to create a sculpture that's kinetic, which means that it can move. You could have things hanging. You can use string and, and tie the string together in different formations. You can see here I have a very simple hanging triangle. You can also link your pieces together using either string or creating a chain using other pieces of magazine. So I'm going to show you that both ways. Right here I have two magazine rolls and you can see I can tie them together using string. Anytime you tie with string though, I would highly recommend you just take some liquid Elmer's glue and just put a little bit of glue on your knot just to help make sure that that does not come untied. Another thing you can do is link your pieces together using a chain built from a flattened magazine tube. So I'm gonna show you that here next. So here I have my, my new spiral. By the way, I rolled these around the glue stick to make the bigger hole in the center. And now I'm putting a flattened magazine tube through both of those pieces. And now I'm gonna wrap that around to form a chain link. So this is the last example of a technique that I have to show you today. Just remember, you're gonna start by making your 25 or more magazine tubes, and then you can experiment with these and more techniques from there.